Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to our video on Unitrends Endpoint Backup. This solution is great for people who rarely connect to the network or infrequently connect, who you want to remotely manage, be able to restore files, get reports that their backups are working, and then also be able to do a bare metal recovery to the same or dissimilar hardware. In this video, we're going to show you how you can deploy software to a single machine or a group of machines, create a backup job, and link the profile so you can have different kinds of jobs for different kinds of folks, backup in the background over the internet, and then be able to restore files and folders back to that system or do a bare metal recovery. All right, take it away, Matt. As we dive in and we go into the dashboard, we'll be able to see that this gives us a high level overview of how our assets are connecting. If we want to know a little bit more about what those assets are, we dive in and we can see the assets that have the agents installed. Now, if we wanted to add a new agent, we would do that from here as well, where we can simply do a single installation or we can do a bulk installation using an MME such as VSA. Once we've installed the software, we now create our profile so that we can protect the data. The profile is going to give us a couple of options where we can either choose from file and folders. So this is that strategic way that we can select specific pieces of the file system and protect it. With that being said, we can also go in and select specific pieces that we want to exclude. We would hit save, we would have our new profile that we could give a special name to, and we'd be ready to roll. If we wanted to be able to protect the whole system at the image level, we would select the image state, or excuse me, the system state. With the system state backup, it's going to allow us to protect the program files, the data files, the system state, everything that we need to bring that laptop back to life or that remote server back to life. We don't select which the items to include, but we are allowed to select which items to exclude. So once we have our profile in place, the next piece of this is that we're going to create a backup job. Now, the backup job simply joins a profile and an asset together and then allows us to utilize a specialized schedule to back up that data over the Internet. So if I go into my bottom job here that's already created, we can see how we can select a profile. This one has the system state backup, so we've got everything. Allows us to select the assets. This one's already got a couple of them chosen, but think about what this is. These are systems that have the software installed on it. And then finally, we select a, a schedule, so how often uh, and when it's going to protect the data. Once I hit finish, we're going to create this backup job, and this backup job is going to be able to run, once again, over the internet in the background to the Unitrends cloud. All of that so that we can go in and we can recover. Now, when your end user calls and says that I've had that bad day, we can go in and we can help them recover individual files. When we talk about recovering individual files, we can go in and we can select the asset that we want to restore. We select the date and time for the restore point. And then we can go in and where we can drill down on the specifics and select the folder or file that we want to add to the restore. We hit the restore button and then it's going to ask us where we want to put it. The rule here is simple. We can put it on any system that has an agent installed on it. So if we think about that end user that has had that very bad day, what we're going to be able to do is help them procure a new laptop, install the agent, and then we can recover that data right onto that new system, giving them just those key pieces, the strategic data that they need to be able to do their job. Now, if we wanted a more robust solution where we can recover the entire um, image, we're going to go into the recovery media. Now, think about what we're doing here in recovery media is we're going to utilize a customized boot media to beat, boot the new system and then connect into our cloud where we can control the restore onto that new system. So as the admin, all that we'll have to do is go in and select the boot image that we're going to utilize. And then from there, we get to select, once again, the laptop or the desktop that we want to include, the restore point that we want. And now we have the drives that are part of that restore point. I'm going to drag these guys over. Once I have them there, it's just a matter of hitting restore. When I hit restore, we're being told that, hey, you're about to do an image level restore and you're going to destroy data that's already there. 
we're okay with that because we want to have all of, all of the image the way that we need it. Now, one of the bumps that can happen here is that if the new laptop is not identical to the old laptop, we might have some problems with drivers. So what we can do is along the way, we can inject drivers. So that's no longer a problem. So at this point in time, we've got assets that we're protecting. We've got jobs and profiles, and we're able to restore. It's nice to be able to understand what the status looks like. So I'm going to go into my backup status, into my summary view. If you think about what's happening here is that we have assets that back up multiple times a day. And so this actually boils up, if you will, those specific pieces during the day of the backup into a single event so that we can understand the backup health. What we've got are green circles, which simply mean that we are protecting, that we can see that we've protected and successfully backed up every time that we were able to. You also notice that I've got a gray circle. So that means that our user was probably traveling. They didn't have their laptop on. And then we have our yellow triangle. Now, think about what we're doing here, right? We're backing up multiple times a day. Even though we might have one backup that doesn't succeed during the day, as long as we got a backup after that, we're going to be great. And that's what this shows us is how we've had multiple backups. We had one session that was not successful, but the rest of them were. And we know that we were able to give a nice, good restore point. Another part of management when we think about this is always making sure that we've got the right version. So an easy way that we can do that is at the front tab under the introduction. We here see all of the information about the latest update so that you can understand the functionality and the features that have been part of that. Now, if we kind of back away from this and think about what we're doing, we're providing you a way to protect your end user data inside of an immutable cloud, be able to restore that remotely and do that all from a central interface for all of your users. We can then take that and we can plug that into Uniview where we now can manage our local backups with Unitrends. We can manage our cloud backups with spanning. And then we can manage our endpoint backups for our end users using endpoint backup. At the end of the day, we're giving you all of the tools to have confidence that you know that you're protecting your data the way that you need to. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about Unitrend's endpoint backup, reach out to your Productive Corp account exec or contact us help at productivecorp.com.